Welcome to learn instrumentation engineering. In this YouTube channel, we are learning a lot of basic fundamentals and concepts of industrial instrumentation and automation and that includes process measurement devices and applications, control systems and latest updates which is happening in and around industrial instrumentation and automations globally. So if you are an instrumentation student or a budding engineer or even expertise in the field of instrumentation engineering, you should subscribe to our channel to gain more knowledge and value addition. So in this video, we are going to learn about control wall flow coefficient. So we will be expanding the definitions and an illustration with an example for you to get understand. So let's get into this video. Yeah. So what is basically control wall flow coefficient? So it is defined as the number of US gallons of water at 60 degree Fahrenheit that will pass through a control wall and create one PSID pressure differences in one minute. So what an understanding. Let me again uh, redefine it. Control wall flow coefficient CV is defined as a number of US gallons of water at 60 degree Fahrenheit that will pass through a control wall which creates one PSID pressure drop in one minute. So if you don't understand what this slide I have uh, given an illustration so you could have a better understanding. Get to this slide. So uh, this is basically uh, the control wall body. So already we have explained you what are the internal components of a control wall and how does the control wall work. So in this uh, slide you could see over here this is a control wall body which has inlet that is upstream and then outer that is the uh, downstream and uh, that is a process fluid which is flowing with 50 psi pressure so the upstream pressure of this process fluid is 50 psi and basically what is cv it is nothing but the volume of water so what uh, it is the volume of water that and control wall body can accommodate so in this uh, slide you could see over here there is a process fluid which is getting into the inlet of the wall body with 50 psi pressure and 60 degree Fahrenheit this is very important over here and the next mandatory thing is this process fluid which is going to pass the control wall within one minute and creating a differential pressure of 1 PSID only so let me again explain this this is a control wall body and there's a process fluid which is entering into the inlet upstream of the wall body at 60 degree Fahrenheit with 50 psi pressure and it gets into the uh, wall body and then it comes to the downstream or outlet with 49 psi that is the pressure difference is 1 psi and this all uh, occurred within one minute of time so this is basically the control wall flow coefficient so in this chart you can see over here the 2 inch control wall is having a CV of 47 actually this is not a real time data it is just an illustration uh, because to calculate the CV we need different uh, uh, process parameters and the process fluid uh, properties uh, to uh, um, derive the CV so this is just an uh, example that I am illustrating you with a uh, chart you could see over here the 3 inch valve size has 120 CV, the 6 inch valve size has 490 CV and 8 inch valve size has 758 CV. So when the valve size increases, the CV also increases, that's directly proportional, right? And next is the how to select the uh, CV of a control valve. You could see over here, this is an X axis and uh, this is a stroke length and next is the y axis and this is the flow coefficient cv right and uh, stroke length is nothing but the valve travel and you can see over here the valve travels from 10 to 100 percentage of stroke length and we have a cv the value which starts from 0 to 140 and basically it may go below 140 also just uh, i just want to give an ideal example to, to make you understand uh, the CV and the selection of your CV, right? When the stroke length increases, the CV also increases, right? And this particular graph uh, belongs to a 3-inch wall. So a 3-inch wall, 
when the stroke length or when the wall travel increases from 0 to 100 percentage the CV also increases this is a, another graph representations of a 2 inch control wall so it is very clear and evident that when the control wall size uh, increases the CV also increases that is the volume or the capacity of the control wall accommodating the volume of fluid also increases so how do these manufacturers select the CV so basically there is an hard and fast formula that you select the CV which falls between 20 to 80 percentage of a control wall stroke length so this is basically an hard and fast rule so normally this manufacturers will recommend to select wall that falls between 20 to 80 percentage of the stroke length for getting a good operating result so this is how the uh, CV is getting selected so I hope you got a very good understanding on control wall coefficient in respect of definitions and an illustration with an example so if this video was very useful to you just hit the like button and share to our instrument community and if you want to watch that instrumentation video do subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering thank you